Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Danny, Donna's behind the camera, and today we're going to teach you how to figure out the height of your rig using very basic tools. So stay tuned and we're going to show you how to do this. We'll be right back. All right guys, welcome back. We're gonna discuss what tools that we're using. So you wanna use basically any kind of string we're using 550 cord. I cut about 20 feet off. I know that I'm approximately 14, 15 feet I'm gonna to need to, to do the measurement. So that's what I cut off here. We are gonna use a black Sharpie. I'm gonna to explain to you in a second how well we're gonna do that. A tape measure, a ladder to get up onto our roof, and an extension pole. You can use a broom handle, anything like that. In this case, we're using an extension pole. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my string and my our case 550 cord and I'm going to tie it around the end of the pole. Don't have to be super exact about it or anything, but this is just going to give you a rough marker. So when we get up to the top of the RV, I'm going to be setting this at the top of the highest part, which is our air conditioner. And it's going to be running it horizontal to the air conditioner over the side of the RV and then down to the concrete and that should give us our measure. Hey guys, so we have a unique system on our rig and it's called liquid springs. And what that basically is, is a hydraulic system for your suspension. They basically take out the forward suspension and then they replace it with a hydraulic uh, uh, system. We can raise and lower our suspension from our normal riding height, four inches below approximately and four inches higher. So we're gonna get three measurements, our low, our normal driving height and a high. So in our case, we're going to use a ladder because we're so far off the ground to be able to get to the back ladder off of here. So it's just easier for me to just use the ladder instead of trying to use the ladder on the back of the truck. But safety first, do whatever is best for you. So this part's just basically for dem demonstration purposes only because I'm typically going to be on the top holding this. But that's why we have the extension uh, pole there that we have. And you can see the line going down. So I would typically be up here making sure it's level with the level to make sure, you know, uh, we get an accurate reading and Donna's on the bottom. But I just kind of wanted to show you how we're doing it. So the, our air conditioner is the highest point, so that's what we're using the measurement from. And also make sure that when you have the line tight, that when you put the line down, it's not curled up, so it's straight down. Okay, so what you do now is you stretch out the string in our case the 550 cord and, and use your tape measure which is your last tool that you're going to be using and that ha that's how you get your measurements by reading out the marks so if you look down here our first mark is at 13 feet 2 inches and that's with the suspension all the way lowered and then the next one is 13 5 that's our normal driving height so that's the height for our host yukon on a flatbed cm flatbed so if you ever want to know what your height would be, if you have a host and you think about a flatbed, this is it. The last measurement was 13 feet, nine and a half inches. And that's with our, our suspension raised all the way up. So there you can see the, the, the suspension levels of the liquid springs. And that's how we figured out how to do our, our height. All right. So this isn't rocket science. You're going to be off a little bit, you know, the width of the string, the pull of the string uh etc there's going to be a little bit of a, a fudge error in here but this is pretty accurate for us and most important thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you're in a level spot before you attempt this you don't want to be on a hill or down a hill because you're going to throw your measurement off so try to get the most level spot that you can and throw in a little bit of a fudge factor in there um my calculations i was thinking that we would normal height was around 13.5 plus or minus an inch and we were right there so this is a really simple way to figure out the a really i wouldn't say super accurate but a very accurate uh height for, for what your rig is using those simple tools and remember if you're getting on the ladder safety you know you have your significant other uh hold the ladder for you while you're getting up etc cetera, etc cetera. just practice being smart but we just there wasn't a lot of videos on how to do this so we wanted to put that out there so if you got anything out of it, please like and subscribe. It helps us out. And uh, I want to thank everybody for coming back to the channel and checking it out. Y'all have a great day.